So hello guys, welcome to my channel and this time I am going to react to the next segment of the competition of Miss Universe Democratic Republic of Congo 2024 <clears throat> and in this segment I am thinking that they are going to cut down further uh, to top 5 based on the Q&A and since the Q&A was in their local language, their mother tongue, in their mother tongue so I really couldn't understand and I couldn't make my own list so I will just say that uh, I hope that my list which was in uh, after the cocktail dress aligns with even now and they don't you know they didn't mess up in the Q&A I just hope that the same contestant moves forward in the top 5 that's what I expect but let's see who might have dropped the ball in the Q&A and suddenly they will not be chosen in the top 5 or maybe someone else surprises everybody and they came very strongly in the Q&A and uh, have a very good communication skill and have a very good grasp over their language or you can say uh, the thinking process so the judges might be you know uh, started to like them like them so anything can happen same contestant can move forward which I was liking and which happened in the previous round you know when top 10 was chosen most of them who move who moved forward were actually my favorites so it will be very interesting to see and check that whether in the top five same contestant will move forward or not. Okay, she is contestant number two, and I'm very glad that contestant number two was chosen. Even though I would say that that she was not in my list of favorites. Okay, but then I'm actually very happy that she was chosen. Contestant number six is chosen as the second candidate to be in the top five and she was my favorite you all know that i have already said it many times that contestant number six is my favorite contestant number 17 definitely she is gorgeous Contestant number 11 My favorites are coming I'm very much happy I'm very glad That my predictions were, are coming right Contestant number 15, okay. Oh, top 5 has already done. I didn't even realize. I'll be honest, I don't I I didn't know how they have performed in the QA. So I will just say based on the previous segments of the competition, previous than the QA. So Based on that, I will say that contestant number 6, contestant number 11 
and contest number 17 in these three the winner will be chosen according to me i think that contest number 2 and contest number 15 even though they were good but i think they don't have that x factor to win the competition so let's see let's check out Again, there will be Q and A, and I know that it will be in their local language. Still, I will say that contest number 6 and contest number 11 are my favorite. They are, they are my favorite. The judges are, the juries are talking to each other. I don't know, let's see what... I have just moved forward because I was not understanding what was going on. And only four of them are shown. What happened to the next person? She was my favorite. What is happening? What happened to the, the two? Contestant number 11 was my, was my one of the favorites. I'm glad that still one of my favorite is move, have moved forward, which is contestant number six. But contestant number 11 was so nice. She was so nice. Damn. Okay, but nonetheless, congratulations to all three of them. See, I can understand because contestant number 17 has the most beautiful facial structure and she looks like a Barbie doll. I have already said it. Contestant number 6 is also very pretty and basically these three contestants are very conventional beauty, you know. Uh, and I know why they have done that because they are not ready to take the risk 
because it's their first year of participation and uh, to be honest to be honest it's not wrong i it's okay it's understandable uh, contest number 11 was not in the you know con fitting in the conventional mold of the beauty standards so i understand their perspective as well but she was very nice let me tell you that contest number 11 she nailed in each and every round but i don't know how she performed in the q and a because i don't know their native language but other than that she did a fabulous job and for these three who have moved forward it is justifiable you know it is not a shocking thing so it is okay i i can understand Okay, top two have been chosen, and contestant number seventeen came as a second runner. And everyone is booing because she was the most gorgeous and facially very attractive. But it is very much justifiable. No, no, the judges are not wrong. They are doing a very fabulous job. It's okay. Even if they are booing, it's okay. It's completely fine. The judges have done a fabulous job. No, no doubt about it. No, no, why the, why the audiences are misbehaving with the judges? It's not an appropriate behavior. No, it's... See, I, what I am able to see, they are trying, they are very offended by the judgment of the judges. They are somewhere, you know, um, they are very shocked to to know that their favorite candidates candidate didn't move forward but they need to understand that just because it's their favorite does not mean it's the judges favorite as well and according to me the judges have done a very nice job so these booing or these uh, you know uh, childish behavior is it's not going to work the judges have done a fabulous job and I have already said it that yes uh, yes the, the second runner up was very beautiful she was gorgeous she looked like the Barbie doll but does, that does not mean that it will be translated into the result it depends on the entire performance the cumulative marks it's not wrong I stand with the judges. I think contest number 15 will win. I don't know, either of them can win. I told you contest number 15 is going to win.
Gorgeous woman, gorgeous representative. Beautiful, beautiful. She she definitely looks like a you know model, very bald or kind of physique and beauty. Very nice. The entire competition was very nice. I just think that there there should have been an evening round round, but it's okay. Congratulations to her. It's she she is a very beautiful winner. Of course, there is a lot of uh, improvement which is required, and definitely there is a lot of time to prepare for that. And definitely, I think that she is going to prepare. Congratulations to her. She didn't receive the kind of uh, celebration which she needed to, but it's okay. She was not a fan favorite. She might not be uh, come across as the most beautiful, most uh, fan favorite, but it's okay. It's justified. She was very beautiful, beautiful throughout the performance. She gave a very decent performance in each and every round. She was consistent and that is what really matters. And uh, I just want to congratulate her. And I, even though she's a very gorgeous woman, I do think that there is every chance of improvement, you know, because she was not my favorite to win, but I definitely think that she has that caliber and has that potential to transform herself to be very strong representative of her country and she she has already made the history you know to become the first ever winner of the of the national pageant of miss universe democratic republic of congo what a big deal you know it's a celebration in itself so she should be very proud of herself the organization should be very proud of themselves that they have started uh, participating in the beauty pageant and congratulations to everyone to be honest the organization the winner the family members of the winner and i and i wish them all the best for the international stage let's hope that she prepares her best and she gives her best on the international stage and platform and she represents her country to the fullest and not only re just represents but also makes the cut in the first round at least so that's it um, let's um, i'm ending this video here and uh, i would like to request you all to like this video comment down your uh, feedback opinions suggestions in the comment section and uh, please subscribe to my channel as well that is the most important thing and you can join my channel if you want so let's uh, let's end this video here and let's meet in the uh, in the next national pageant thank you so much for watching